Hey guys, Minecraft Rules 11 here, and today is another episode of the Big Dig Let's Play. This is episode 14, and today, um, I think we are going to start making some missiles. Actually, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, although I was actually kind of looking at the missiles that they have. Um, that's pretty cool. We got a conventional missile, a shrapnel missile, a incendiary. Basically, a lot of missiles that they have. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we will be able to make these. Although it would be pretty sweet to make one of these. Uh, we have like a, whoa, <laughs> a nuclear cluster missile. Holy cow, that is crazy. Uh, <laughs> we need a cluster missile. We, wow, this is unbelievable. We need nuclear explosives, uranium. Man, that is crazy. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to make that. Uh, just now, but you know, hopefully in the future we'll be able to, as that would be pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> that'd be really awesome. I think I know what the mod is called. I believe it's called uh, ICBM, maybe uh, intercontinent intercontinental ballistic missiles. I believe uh, that's what it's called. Um, and basically, you can make missiles, of course, and you can watch them court make like make like a station where you can uh, have like the coordinates you want it the missile to go to and then you can have go like shoot off all, all over there and then just make a huge explosion out there so yeah I don't know that'd be pretty sweet if we could do that um but anyways I was actually going to uh, get this going again I was going to redo this because I actually figured it out that uh seems to be quite interesting with that um that I usually have to destroy it if I turn off the uh these guys first I don't know why it's pretty interesting but Oh well, um, usually the water never really enters through there, but yeah. Anyways, I'm going to add about 10 to those, or not 10 to those, 6 to those. 6 to here, and we're going to get these guys pumping. Oh, it's already turning night. Did not notice it. Also, what is the... Okay, it's on normal. Just got to make sure. I was just wondering which what it was on. Uh, so let's put some copper into, no, copper into here. Wait, no. Okay, copper goes into here. Not even know where it was going. We'll have this go. Although I feel like don't we don't really need it to go. Oh wow, this is going really fast. Okay, let's actually wait a little bit. Um, and let's look at some of the things that we have. We have a radar station. Holy cow! A cruise launcher, steel plate, steel ingots. I don't know where to get steel from. Get it from steel dust, of course. Powered furnace. Inga cast, okay. Yeah, we got, that'd be pretty cool. We need a cruise launcher for all those missiles. And a missile coordinator, I believe we'll definitely need that. Um, <clears throat> I believe the mod pack, ICBM, I believe it is also maybe for multiplayer, so that's why there is the radar. Um, so that, like, provides you so that, like, if, like, a missile may be coming in, and then you could probably, like, shoot it down or something like that, that'd be pretty cool. Um, never really done that. Um, alright, so, let's see here, what else could we find, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely really enjoy making those, that would be excellent and awesome, although I don't know how, or where I could find all the materials, that would definitely be, uh, pretty crazy, as, uh, it'd be kind of hard to find all those things. So let's uh let's let this go for a little bit. Let's give it some energy. All right, so we have that all pulverized. So I'm gonna try out the magmatic engine actually. Uh, soon. Cobalt ingot. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna try out the mag magmatic engine as soon as we're done with this. <coughs> I'm gonna put the lava into there. Although, that kind of reminds me. I think I have to get a large amount of lava. So, I only grabbed one bucket. Although, it's going to be a pretty large amount. A lot. A lot of energy it's going to give us. Alright, so I am going to... Shut these off. And then... I'm going to shut this guy off. Okay, so those guys are off. And then these guys will be going through here, through the pipes. 
into our home. It's pretty cool seeing that go through. And then we're going to put the lava into the magmatic engine, although it's not going to be too much. Uh, it'll, you know, it'll provide us a pretty large amount, I would say. I believe we need, I don't actually know how much we'll need, uh, but let's see here. Okay, you know, do you have to right click on it? There we go. You see, it's not that much. It's only a little bit. But that will go through. So it will only blow up if uh, it has nowhere else to put its energy. So obviously we're going to have this going all the time. Those guys are going to annoy the poop out of us. Oh, we better put some stuff into there. Where is it? There we go. Alright. Come on in. Whoa! Whoa! Maybe guys should not have come in. Oh, the skeleton shot him down. Thank you. Alright, sweet. Thank you. Alright, so we have a lot of dirt going through. It's going to be a long time until we actually get through there. So you guys can tell, it's definitely providing us a lot of energy. It's definitely not going down compared to a sterling engine, so it is doing very well for us. Um, but the only thing is, is that we have to gather some more lava and then, you know, we'll be good. Uh, so yeah, for all, I mean, look at that, look at that, compared to that, it's just creating ingots like crazy, it's, it's probably one of the best things that we've, uh, crafted in this, um, aside from the quarry, uh, the pulverizer, you know, it's one of the best things, um, that we definitely created because of how pa fast it's producing the, uh, ingots, so yeah, that's very good for us, very good, although I want to see where the energy or where, how much lava is actually remaining, oh, we forgot to place the torch, 700, you know, it's still a pretty large amount that's remaining. So we'll let that go for a little bit. I'm going to check out the quarry. So let's hover over there. Let's grab these. Get some raspberries. Definitely need some food. Although I don't know if we're going to be able to find any food. But yeah, I mean, we're going to be getting a lot of dirt for sure at the very first layer. It's obvious, but... Uh, once we get down to the, I would say, fifth or fifth layer or something around there, that we're going to be getting some of those, um, those ingots. Yeah, as you guys can see, plenty of ingots. So I guess we might as well just get rid of these guys, because we're not going to be using those. So, take those away. So then it provides us a lot more room down here. Hmm, Okay. Alright, so yeah, the quarry looks like oh, chicken. Let's get that chicken. Come here, chicken. Oh, give me the chicken. Thank you. Oh, he has an egg over here. Let's see if we'll do that, or that will do anything for us. I don't know, I'll see. Alright, so I guess we'll head back up. Roast this chicken. Alright, so, um, if you guys have anything. I, I, if you guys want me to build anything, just say so. I definitely will do it. Um, because that also helped me a lot out in, uh, Feed the Beast. Oh, we have Infinity. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have, we can make a bow with that. Oh, we have raw mutton. Any other food? Does not look like it. Oh, yeah, I have some tea in here. Let's take that. Maybe that will do us well. Holy cow. <laughs> This is what it's like to have a powered furnace that will actually be able to function at its best. That is awesome. Love it. Uh, shard of minium. Let's put these guys in there. Oh, pulverized ferrous metal. Sulfur. Okay, there are also um, a space shuttle, I believe. That we can actually go to the moon in this. Rocket! Yeah. Um, we need like a NASA workbench. I want to check that out. But before I do that, I want to see here. We're gonna change these guys real quick. Uh, let's get all that iron in there. Let's okay. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. Simple as that. All right. Alright, so we need a NASA. I just want to see how it is. NASA workbench. Holy cow, this looks pretty sick. We need lead. Invar crafting table. Oh, that's not even that bad. 
Because we already have like a lot of lead. We already have one pulverized lead. Uh, we have... That's osmium, tin, silver. Then we have enough invar, invar, whatever it is. We have a bunch of ferrous, tin, osmium, and uranite. Uh, and then aluminum, so we're going to have to put that in the pulverizer as well. So let's grab those guys. And then we also have lead right there, so we have enough for the NASA workbench. So I don't know, should we make this? I mean, I don't really know the the point of it right now. Um, But... Um, maybe it could do us some good. I, I'm not entirely sure. It'd be pretty cool to have that. I mean, we don't really necessarily need it right now. But, uh, you know, we could start working on the project because uh, I, I definitely want to try to go to space um, very soon because that would be awesome. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll see about that. Um, heading to space. That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, I believe there are also some special ores there as well. So that's, I guess, also a benefit of going to space. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so, boom, boom, there we go. Alright, so that gold is going to go, and then let's put that iron there, and then that stuff is coming through. Uh, so, let's put this stuff in the pulverizer, and let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, so yeah, I'll be getting 10 lead ore right now, so that's even better. <laughs> 